A rare partial eclipse is taking place this evening. It will look like the moon is taking a big bite out of the sun as it crosses in front of it. Local 12's Josh Knight is at the observatory at the Alt Park Pavilion where stargazers are gathering to witness the sight. What about the clouds? Are they in the way or no? They are in the way right now, but it's one thick cloud that seems to be doing most of the blocking, so hopefully as the sun goes a little bit lower, we'll get a better view. But I just want to point out, check out all the people here. We have a great turnout for the event here up at the pavilion. As you look up on top, that upper deck there as well, people lined up just waiting for that break in the clouds as well. What's great is people can come here, get a chance to get those solar glasses. You can just borrow a pair, so as that clouds do break enough, you can check out the solar eclipse that way. And then there's all these telescopes here as well that have the same special filters on them so that you're able to look through the telescope and you can see the sunspots as well. Now while people were coming in getting set up we got to talk to some people excited about it and also one of the people from the observatory to tell us just how special this event is. I think, yeah it's really nice equipment so it's, it's exciting that they're sharing this with everybody. I like that. Not only are they rare events, you being in position to see them it makes it doubly rare. I can't hear a sound. A uh, little bit of trouble there, but I just want to show you what we're dealing with right now, especially that dark blue <laughs> cloud up there. That's the one trying to block things a little bit for us. But this is a live shot here from a different observatory, so you can see the moon hasn't crossed in front just yet. That happens closer to right around 546, so we're working on it. But really, as the sun, as the sun sets, that's when you'll be able to see that bigger bite taken out of it. So just have to get the clouds to cooperate for us as that sun does set, and that'll be right at 649. So just keep your eyes on the sky through the rest of the evening, but keep in mind, you can't look directly at it unless you do have any of those special solar glasses or something like this. This is that welder's shield, the welder's glass we were talking about. And with the clouds there, unfortunately can't see anything just yet. So keeping our fingers crossed here at Alt Park. Rob, Cami. All right. Well, thanks very much. But we, we do have a picture of it from where we can see it, right? Yes. And that's what you just saw. This is Griffith Observatory from uh, L.A. Okay. So this is in California where it's 247. And so, so this is live? Yes, this is live. So we are able to see the eclipse much better on the west coast than yeah. the east yeah, coast. Yeah, no kidding. And we're able to see it just a little bit, but it doesn't start until 546. So it's just barely starting. So even if Josh were to see it through the clouds, mm -hmm. you would only see like a little dip out here. of it. Uh -huh. Barely. Okay. Yes, here. But in, this is out of California, so you're That's able to see cool. that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It does